my class yesterday, I did this example five about parallel. Parallel lines have the same, same slope. slope. So you find the slope of the line and you use that same slope to and that given point to write an equation. Now, this one down here. Find an equation of the line through 2, negative 3 that is perpendicular. perpendicular to the given line, which has the equation 4x plus y equals 3. So, in order to find the equa an equation perpendicular, we have to know the Reciprical. slope of this line. So, how do I find the slope of 4x plus y equals 3? You got to get it into y equals mx plus b. You subtract 4x, it's the same thing. And doing so, you subtract 4x. She's trying to make up for some wrong answers. Okay. I don't give wrong answers. Gentlemen, we need to know the slope of this line. So we're going to get it in y equals form, which means we subtracted 4x. What do we know about this line? It has a slope of negative, negative, four. negative 4 because it's y equals mx plus b. Yes? Now... If that slope is negative 4, we need to then know what is the perpendicular slope. Perpendicular slope is the what? Opposite reciprocal. Opposite reciprocal. So opposite of negative is? Positive. Positive. Reciprocal of 4. Flip the numerator and the denominator, so it would be one fourth. Okay. So keep in mind, 4 as a fraction is 4 over 1. So the reciprocal of 4 over 1 is 1 over 4. So we're going to use the slope 1 fourth. That's perpendicular. We're going to use the slope 1 fourth and the point they gave us of? 2, two negative 3. And we're going to write an equation. Now, you can use y equals mx plus b form, or point slope. I like to use point slope, so I like to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So if I do that, y minus y minus what? Negative 3 equals m, which is 1 fourth times x minus 2. It doesn't necessarily, it may or may not say in the directions, but just clean it up. We know minus a negative, this is really y plus 3. Distribute the 1 fourth. So 1 fourth x minus what is 2 times a fourth? I have, I have. 2 fourths, which reduces to 1 half. And then, to get y by itself, I'm going to subtract 3. Subtract three. So y equals x. 1 fourth x. My brain would say minus a half minus 3 is minus 3 and a half. Fair enough? But what do we know about 3 and a half? You could say 3.5, or I just go improper. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So 1 fourth x minus 7 halves. Okay. So, parallel and perpendicular. In your homework are problems 42 and 44. Okay, that's parallel and perpendicular in your homework is 42 and 44. Um, as I talked about earlier, up through 26 should have been very doable. Shouldn't have run into a problem until you hit 27. 27 through 30, I'm going to, we'll graph it, we'll at least get so you guys start on 27 so you can kind of play around with those. 42 and 44, and then we can also, I want you guys to try 42 and 44, and then I can also help with 45 when the time comes. Okay? Which, if you didn't write down the homework, and as I said, I'm skipping this one, I'll help you with 45 and homework. 
But page 36, 3 through 6, 11 through 14, 21 through 30, 42, 44, and 45.